Hi guys, this is Andy from Digital Crew Chief. We just released version 0.4 and today I will show you some of our new features. First, we added an automated update check, so you will never miss a future release. You will see a notification here in the title bar, which will lead you to the latest release on GitHub. All other improvements concern the dynamic campaign. The campaign app will not check if you have persistence enabled in DCS. It allows you to enable it with a simple click and can also undo the changes when you close DCC. You will also be warned at mission generation if persistence is disabled. A new scenario has been introduced, Operation Northern Shield. It brings a lot of new improvements, which are also available for Red Bullet. When we look at custom factions, you will notice the new package type Caesar. These are new helo missions to rescue pilots who were shot down in earlier missions. Also aircraft carriers have been added. You can select a classic carrier or one from the DCS supercarrier module. Two new campaign options are available. Training mode, in which AI will not shoot at you at all, and the possibility to disable bad weather if you just can't stand the rain. Here you can see the map of Operation Northern Shield. The initial state is now randomized at start, so it might look a bit different when you try it. There are more enhancements you will only notice once you start DCS. Plane loadouts and radios are improved. Helicopters will now spawn at reasonable altitudes and dedicated servers will now work without a problem. The communication menu includes help for CAS, Caesar and escort missions. And we added mission briefing kneeboards which enable you to view your mission details like waypoints and radio frequencies. If you're interested in more details, you can see the full changelog on GitHub. There, you can also take a look at our project board to see the tasks we are working on right now. That's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the new version, thanks for watching.